My mother was diagnosed with um, breast cancer at age 25. So I had to grow up quite quickly and be a support for my mum and my younger siblings. Palliative care, it's a scary word to some people, but when my mum was going through palliative care, hospice care, it was a beautiful experience for me, my siblings, and for my mum to go through. It was quite difficult. We couldn't express what we're feeling or what we're going through because we're so young, but expressing ourselves through art um, helped us to be away from what was going on with mum inside the medical world. Being able to express those emotions and feelings as a young child has helped us be the adults we are today because we haven't suppressed all that emotion and we can comprehend it a lot better now as adults. I remember my mum coming home after having a session with Claire in the hospital. My mum had such a strong connection with her, um, with the music and with her therapy. And she said, Leah, I'm doing this um, song at Peter Mac. And she said, it's my own song. And she had this paper in front of her and she said, this is the name of the song, You're My Strength. She said, this is from my heart. This is my true feelings. This is exactly how I feel. And you kids, you are my strength. You are what pulls me through every day of this illness and gets me up to go to treatment and to fight to live for you guys. And she started singing this song out of nowhere. So she had made up the lyrics. She knew the song, she had the beat to it. So I sang that song at my mum's funeral and then for quite a long time after that um, I couldn't listen to it. A couple of years ago I reached out to Claire and I asked her if she still had the song and the lyrics. Fifteen years after her passing, all those words that she wrote down made so much more sense to me. And it keeps me positive, you know, to have those words that my mum wrote as you are my strength, gives me the strength and makes me want to have strength to carry on with my life and to be strong as a mother for my children and do what she would do if she was here.